Good morning, everyone. <laughs> the second I speak, the second I speak, Meryl thinks it's to her. Meryl! Well, good morning. I tried to air wrap my hair last night. I know it was pointless to do it at night, but I've realized that I just, I need to start practicing before I can actually use it in real life in the day. So I had my little shower after my workout last night, tried to air wrap my hair, and it was such a fail. Like, it's, it's fine. It just looks like, you know, my hair has been dried, but really don't know how to do the Victoria bouncy curls, okay? And it's just kind of like, crisp this morning. I don't know. It's very odd. I'll, I'll continue playing with it. I know I said that like a year ago when we were still in Toronto that I'd be <laughs> figuring out the air wrap, but um, I am revisiting it now. Anyway, this morning, up bright and early, we have a long, busy day of filming, and I actually wanted to take you along for a makeup declutter because last week, I know like the timeline does not matter for this video whatsoever, but last week we brought everything like my big makeup collection drawers, the Ikea Kallax drawers downstairs. We brought everything downstairs and I'll talk about it more when we're down there, but basically I need to organize it. My makeup is absolutely everywhere. We're gonna do a big old makeup declutter and kind of set ourselves up for this season and it'll also be uh, the first look at how the studio is going to be set up, which is probably like, I know I talked about it so much, but I, I actually don't think we'll be doing anything down there until the new year. <laughs> and again, I'll, I'll discuss that when we're actually down there. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that first thing this morning and wanted to vlog the adventure. I just came downstairs and I realized that I am out of black tea. First, I was denied coffee. And now I am denied tea. <laughs> Like, I think I have a green tea, okay? Which is fine. It's cute. It'll get us by. <sighs> but it's not the same. I shall have a green tea. I don't know if I could actually ever get used to this darkness in the winter. This rain and this darkness, like, all day. It's just dark and it feels like it's 8 p.m. all day long. And sometimes it stays like this for weeks. I remember there was one year where there was no break in the rain for four months straight. It set a record and it was all very sad. But people who live here in BC will say that the, the spring and summer makes it worth it. As someone who was born and partially raised in BC, I'm going to have to politely disagree and just say that the seasonal depression is very real very real in this land. Sunny days are a delight, but they're a delight anywhere. And this darkness and this rain has been difficult on the brain. <laughs> Just your friendly neighborhood poet gracing you with their tea this morning. <laughs> Oh, this has just reminded me while we're having this lovely little chat. Uh, I will get to the makeup eventually, I promise. But I just wanted to update you because it's actually been really ridiculous lately. But I went to see an optometrist here in BC. Went to see one last year in Toronto when I started blinking uncontrollably. And it's kind of gone up and down in intensity. And it's been getting really badly again. And just for those of you who notice it, I know I notice it when I'm living my life and when I'm editing videos, but the blinking has gotten like really intense. And I went to the doctor and they told me that it was allergies. It's my allergies to Meryl. Meryl continues to kill me softly. So I have actually been given a prescription for allergy eye drops as well as hydrating eye drops because the doctor in Toronto had told me that it was just dry eyes. He never said anything about the allergies. Uh, so now I have both. Now in the morning I need to take my allergy drops and at night I need to take the hydrating drops and it can be a three to six week period for me to notice any difference or it could happen right away but I just wanted to update you that no, the blinking is not meant to be here. <laughs> and for any of you who care, there's an update. Okay, I'm gonna go change into a sweatsuit because it is freezing in the basement. It's freezing. So I'm going to get in a sweatsuit and then let's go tackle the makeup collection. Welcome to the future studio. <laughs> I've brought my tea downstairs and we're gonna tackle this lovely little corner here today. So as you can see, we've brought the makeup collection down. This is the Kallax drawer set from Ikea. I've already said that. And we have a few miscellaneous things here that we're gonna be setting up. This corner is gonna be like our 
sit down, makeup, filming, videos, and the bulk of the collection is going to live down here. And as a content creator here on YouTube that mainly focuses on beauty, I've got an entire Sephora here, okay? There's a lot of products. And I really try to keep like <laughs> somewhat of a work-life balance, if you will. So we were really looking forward, obviously, to moving into our, our beautiful new home and setting up this space here in the basement to be our workspace so that when we go upstairs, we can go home and leave work behind us, which we've never really had like a true separation before. So. I want that to, to be the same with my makeup. So I want my makeup collection to live down here. Not a single person on the planet needs to have like 60 different foundations in their daily rotation. It's absolutely ridiculous. Sometimes it just feels like it's too much. And I really want to just, just keep the makeup down here and then have my personal daily makeup bag live upstairs and then do like the seasonal rotations or, you know, bring some other products out that I want to be reviewing and testing. But yeah, now she's down here and we need to organize it. So some of you might find this pointless, but basically this is the drawer setup. This is the makeup collection setup that I had in Toronto and we did bring it with us and decided that there's nothing actually wrong with it. It's kind of perfect for the makeup storage that I need. And I originally had all of these drawers and then four baskets. Do I know why I did that and not just all drawers? No, I have no idea and I've regretted it ever since because these little drawers have been out of stock forever. We signed up to the notifications to be informed of when they restock and sometimes it'll be like, there's one drawer in stock at Coquitlam. Oh, there's two drawers in stock at Richmond. It's been forever since they've been in stock. Finally got the in stock email. I have been waiting to do this like makeup organization until I could get my hands on the four drawers to just make this all drawers because the makeup continues to expand. I need more space and the day has happened. So we actually went to Ikea and we got the drawers and that's what I'm going to be setting up today. I'm going to be decluttering any old and expired makeup products and I'm going to be reorganizing the lovely little drawers here so that it can all be functional and seamless and delightful. So the Calyx drawers, we have, we have some CB2 knobs. That's what I had previously used. These lovely little gold knobs are beautiful. Um, they no longer sell them. So we found some dupes on Amazon. They're not exactly the same size, but they're close enough that hopefully you won't be able to notice and it won't drive you too crazy, but found some little drawer knobs and I'm also gonna be relabeling all of these with our lovely little label maker. And also while we were at Ikea, going on our lovely little adventure of finding the drawers, we also picked up a rug. So this is a big, this is the biggest rug that Ikea carries. I think they only had three of them that were in the big size, but one of the reasons that we're actually not already filming down here is because of this echo, the sound. <laughs> we knew that we were gonna have that problem, so we're actually waiting on some sound panels for the walls, and we also need a divider, but as, as everything right now, shipping is just like, uber super delayed so part of the efforts to have non-echoing sound down here is to put a rug so we got this rug so i'll lay that out as well and we'll just have a lovely little redecorating and rejigging adventure so i guess to begin here's here's a little view a little visual of the makeup collection um these are actually all mislabeled right now none of these are actually in order but i basically just need to reorganize all of these drawers. And just because I've now had three encounters with old eye products giving me styes and pink eye, uh, I definitely need to go through and sort out what needs to go in the makeup collection. So to start, I'm gonna unpack these drawers and we're going to set up the drawers to begin. So Dan came to help me, thank goodness expedited the drawers i was struggling <laughs> yes i was struggling with four drawers okay so we've removed all of the labels wow that was a satisfying one and now the next task is to just take all of the drawers out declutter them and then reorganize them dan is insisting that we get some like goo remover to remove the residue i don't personally really care to just put labels on top of the goo so we might actually have to wait to relabel them but we can still put everything together. Oh dear. Hi, I've left you for an entire day and it is now evening. I have filmed some videos today, filmed some makeup, 
the retainers are in and I was also having a very intense Merrill allergy episode and so now I've got my tissues and my nose is um is red so we're back gonna continue plucking away at this I last left you with taking out the drawers oh dear. what progress we've made honestly I'm embarrassed to admit how long it took putting those drawers in but anyway now the the next task is going to be going through each drawer seeing what needs to be donated or thrown out what products are expired what products i'm going to be donating separating those and then we can see what else remains that needs to be reorganized into these new overflow drawers so i'm going to start the adventure with lipsticks all things lips i have so many lipsticks that are overflowing from the drawers and i had previously had my little lip balm section shared with the lip glosses which didn't work so the first thing i'm going to do is separate the lipsticks into their own drawers i personally like to do it by finish i know this is like so absurd to be like uh, i'm storing my lipsticks by finish <laughs> it sounds so obnoxious i understand but when I am doing my makeup, it's really helpful for me to be like, okay, I'm going to go for a lip balm or I'm going to go for a lip stain and where am I going to go for that? So before it's just all been piled up and that's why I become such a creature of habit and I reach for the same things because usually I just open the lipstick drawer and it's just like so daunting to shop my stash and use other products. So first things first, the new lip balm drawer, not just half a drawer. So I'm just gonna sort through and see if there's any that I can declutter, anything that's looking pretty suspect. The last time I did this, like right before we moved, a lot of my lip balms were a-okay. I'm definitely more concerned in the eye front, but I still just wanna have a look through and see what we are working with here. Most of my lip balms remain. We managed to declutter a couple, just a few shades that I wasn't very into, as well as a few odd smells, but the rest, listen, some of my old YSL lipsticks, like they're still smelling delicious, okay? They're gonna stay, lip balms are good for now. And they also have their own drawer. Let's move on to lip glosses. There's a lot in here, a lot of products that I don't use or haven't used or have been new in in PR and I've just thrown it in here. I think there's gonna be a lot that we're gonna be able to declutter in this drawer. Okay, we managed to do quite a lot of good damage in the gloss drawer. I had a lot of duplicate colors, a lot of colors that were very, very off, as well as a lot of products that were actually just limited edition over the summer and from launches before that, that are no longer available and that I don't necessarily wanna keep in my collection because I wouldn't be able to feature them. So we've done a good dent. I've been reacquainted with some old glosses that I haven't used in a while, like the Westman Atelier ones. I was really excited to see those. There were also a lot of like the lip balm products that had build out into the glosses. Like I had said, I used to have the lip balm section, that little box sitting in here with the glosses. So um, put those back into their home. And now I think I'll absolutely be able to use my lip glosses much more efficiently. So the next drawer in the lipstick section is what I have lovingly previously called the long things drawer. And this has a myriad of things. I know there's a ton of glosses in here. There's some liquid lipsticks, there's lip stains, there's lip pencils, there's just everything in a longer packaging format in here. So I actually just need to dump this out. I think I need to declutter it first, go through some products, and then I can decide how I want to store this in the future because there's just way too much in here. And when I open the drawer, like I can't even dig through it. So this definitely needs to be tackled and a few products need to be put in there rightful places. So this one, this one's gonna be a minute. <laughs> So I've managed to do a very great cleanup in the long things category and actually ended up separating it into two different drawers. So the first drawer I've got is just all of the matte things. <laughs> all of the stains, everything that dries down with a matte finish is in this side. So I didn't do it by color or anything. It's just all of my matte liquid lips. Then in the second drawer here, I've got all of my like lip lacquers, like all of my creamy lip things, things that don't dry down to a matte finish. And then beside that, I've also just continued like the long sticks. <laughs> so these are all of like the crayons, the longer balms, things like that. Like for example, 
my nude sticks send nudes gel color which one could say would be a lip balm but like i said this is my long things drawer so it's just all of the longer items in here so that is how i have separated it and again it just makes it much easier to visualize and see what i actually have in my collection and i'm really happy with this and there were also so many products that had gone bad i was so shocked like all of my mac love me liquid lip colors were totally gone off and they're all like lumpy and curdly and it's very bizarre there were a lot of products that i actually sniffed out here so that's great these are sorted let's move on to the final lipstick category the the actual lipsticks Okay, the lips are officially done. That was quite an endeavor. I actually ended up separating it into two different bins and I did one side all the bold colors, one side all of the more nude and natural colors. So I think that's gonna be a good way for me to differentiate between the lipsticks, especially since so many of these, literally most if not all of them, don't have a differentiator, like they don't have an indicator on the outside of the packaging as to what color it is. So this is gonna at least help me narrow it down when I am looking to pick out my lipsticks. And I also put a little separate bin aside here of my favorites that I am not willing to part with, but that are no longer available. Discontinued products, discontinued brands, in this little acrylic container in here. So that's a little sad one. <laughs> like Marc Jacobs, Flesh Beauty, we recently realized, super crazy. And then I was able to get rid of a few duplicates and things that I had in here. So this is looking much more clean, much more organized, and I'll be very excited to get these products onto my lips. Okay, next up I'm going to do primers or priming products. And this one's gonna be really difficult because there's a lot of products I love in here, but there's also, I, I know there's a lot of expired products in here. So I definitely wanna take a good look through, see what we're working with and see what we can buy. Okay, so we've made quite a good dent in the primers. There's still a lot, there's still a lot of primers in here, um, but I think we were able to get rid of quite a few. And I actually had a lot of duplicate products in here, a few products I didn't get along with, and some shades that were too dark, like this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I had another shade that was lighter. So um, really good declutter pile here, really condensed the primers that were in the drawer. It's still a heaping, <laughs> heaping drawer, but I do, I do love me my, my glowy bases and mixing concoctions. So there's definitely a lot of products in here. And it's a good reminder of a few products I haven't used in quite some time. So that is the primer drawer done. So the next section that I want to tackle are the eyeliners. <laughs> this has been the, the bulk of my expired product discoveries over the last little while, and it's also one of my most heaping drawers and one of my most difficult drawers to kind of make my way through. So what I really want to do is separate this between eyeliners and like single eyeshadows and eyeshadow toppers and whatnot. And that's already how I have it separated in here. I actually have all of my eyeliners in a bin already and then I was just putting stuff away so I was just throwing stuff on top so it's really messy in here I want to get rid of some expired products and then also separate this into two different bins for ease of searching in the future so I managed to pass on a few honestly it was nice having just separated these I'm like okay great I can see all of my eyeliners I know it looks like quite a mess, but I promise you that this is such an improvement <laughs> in these drawers. And there were already a few of the eyeliners that I had already passed on based on a few of uh, the incidents that I've had over the last couple of weeks. And I also, so I just had this little declutter pile here. This is what I managed to pull out now. And I actually did just pull out all of the Marc Jacobs highliners just because um, I kind of want to see that as a, as a TBD as to what is happening with them. If the brand is closing and no more, it's obviously not something I wanna keep using on my channels because you guys wouldn't be able to get it. So there's a few um, limited edition liners in here as well, like some Charlotte Tilbury ones from some previous holiday collections. But other than that, the separation was necessary for these. So very excited to be able to like, see my glitters and see my eyeliners, and that is great. Okay, so the final section that I wanna go through is the bronzer and contour section. And this is desperately needing to be split into two. Ideally, I'd like to split this 
into cream contours and bronzers and then powder contours and bronzers just because contours and bronzers I kind of use interchangeably and for the same purpose. So I think just separating it by formula is best. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if there's gonna be a whole lot that I'm gonna declutter here, but we may find some on the way, but for the most part, I really just wanna get it into creams and powders and that's the goal. Okay, so the drawers are all officially put away and this is the almost finished look at the makeup collection. I'm gonna have to hold off doing some labeling until we can figure out how to get this goop off. <laughs> and I'm really, really happy that I was able to spread out the makeup collection and make it much more viewable and, and usable in my filming life. So I'll do a really quick run through of what we've, we've got going on here. First drawer, we've got face sprays. In the second drawer, we've got primers. Then I kept the foundations as is. This is hard glass bottles. <laughs> and then these are my squishy bottles, aka more of like the tinted moisturizer, lighter coverage products. Then I've got face powder, concealers, cream contour and bronzer, powder contour and bronzer. In this drawer, I've just got some sneaky backups. In this drawer, I've got all of my highlights, which I didn't actually get around to tackling today, but honestly, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just ignore her for a while. <laughs> and then in here, I've got cream blushes. And then in this drawer, we've got powder blushes. So that's the, that's the top two sections. And the bottom two sections, we've got our eyeliners, other miscellaneous eyeshadow products. And here I've got some smaller eyeshadow palettes, which were previously organized. And then here's the larger palettes, which were also previously organized. And then in here, I actually just tossed in some miscellaneous eyeshadow palettes that hadn't been organized into those yet. Here we've got lashes. And then all six of the bottom drawers are the lip products. So here we've got our lipsticks. Those are the bolds, these are the nudes. We've got the long lippity things, <laughs> the matte lippity things, the lip balms, and the lip glosses. So for now, that is the makeup collection done. There's a few unpacked things on the top that we'll just have to, to wait for another day, but until we're actually officially filming down here, which like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't think is gonna be until the new year, until we get the sound sorted out and, and the rest of the equipment and things we've ordered <laughs> figured out. But I did wanna show the rug that I got. So I'm gonna unravel that now and it will at least be a start. Maybe we can see what the difference in the sound is like. So I'm gonna move these lights out of the way, open the rug and see how she fits. Okay, so here's the stool. We're gonna be filming, potentially, this is our thought, here, hear us out. We're gonna have the lights in front. We're gonna be filming at a diagonal in the corner to maximize Dan's space in the back. Gonna have a little table here. Gonna be doing the makeup, makeup collections right behind Dan. And this is gonna be the filming spot. What do you guys think? What do you think of the rug? Thank you, Dan, for coming to help me and realizing that I put it on the floor upside down. Um, I'm experiencing death in my sinuses. Thank you, Meryl. And <clears throat> thus far, echo, echo, echo location, up on my way, up on my way. <laughs> I don't notice any different in the sound yet, but like I mentioned, we're gonna have to get some sound panels on the walls and something here. So once that happens, we'll officially be filming down here. But I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this very, it wasn't impromptu, believe it or not. This was very much a planned declutter. I really needed to organize that makeup. But here's a little look-see at what the filming setup is gonna be here in the basement. And there's a look at the newly organized, reorganized makeup collection. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, you guys. Now we're officially ready. We can breathe easy and 
go forward with the rest of our <laughs> laminous filming now that everything slightly has a home. And I'm gonna go take uh, yet another Claritin, my friends, and hopefully I'll be, I'll be breathing in the morning. LOL at this because the Instagram fam knows that I then woke up in the morning with a cold. LOL. But I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all tomorrow for another Landmiss vid. Bye.